Hey girl, hey, welcome back to another vloggy vlog. This vlog is going to be really short because today is Wednesday, I think. It's Wednesday, so we really have a couple more days. But I'd rather vlog than not vlog, you know? Okay, guys, I am totally obsessed with Meg's the stallion in here right now that I definitely had to order it from my vendor. If you guys don't know what hairstyle I'm talking about, I'm about to show you right now because this hair right now is just giving me everything that I that I that I want. So this was the hair that when I first seen it. Like it's giving all the freaking looks, okay? And then ugh, I love big hair so so much. Like big hair is like I don't know if I want to recreate one of these photos, which I think I just might because I just love it. I love it. But anyway, I love the hair so much that I had to search with one of my vendors because I do use multiple vendors for different things to see if any of them have it. And guys, of course, it came in my DHL. It came, okay. It came. Look at the wig. Of course, I have to like comb out. Well, I'm gonna wash it and then it's gonna get bigger. But y'all, the fact that look at the they got the fake the fake 4C edges going on. Look at the 4C edges going on. And they bleached this for me already. Like, I want y'all to, I need y'all to see. Like, they already bleached the knots for me. Already. I, like, the hair, like, I, it, I can't even talk right now because I'm just impressed. I can't wait to see how these edges is going to look. I'm super excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to wash it and put it to dry and everything today. Look, I'm combing. Look. Oh my god, this thing looks so pretty. Uh, guys, I am so excited. I'm so excited. Yes. I think it's going to be exactly what I'm looking for. <sighs> so we're going to put this with aside. I do want to color um, this hair before I leave. This is the last week I'm in my studio. Y'all probably like, Mocha, what? You just got your studio. I know, I know, I know. But it's just like, I really had just been shipping. Like the last couple of months, like the last three months, and I was trying to hold out, but I literally just been shipping. Like, I don't feel like I need to go there to ship items when I have a whole house. I thought like, clientele would have picked up but people are literally just purchasing wigs and hair off my website so i don't really don't need a suite if that makes sense so i really don't need a suite right now and when i signed up i was doing a special at the moment so now that my special is over i'm paying way more than I was paying before and I pay weekly like my rent for my suite is weekly it's not monthly it's weekly so it's just like mm, yeah I'll figure something out but so, so I have to move out by the first so that's another moving gig I know like they like damn yeah you just moving every single day I moved out last week out of place I'm moving out this week out of place your girl is just moving okay why are you biting me? That went up over my boggy vlog that I was supposed to have been uploaded since I got back. I just haven't had time. But I finished editing it and I really, really like it. Like, I really love this vlog that I just edited. I feel like my vlogs are getting so much better. I don't know. I feel like I'm just... I feel like I talk to you guys regularly now. I feel like I don't even have to come in and do an intro because... We're that connected now that I don't have to, y'all already know who I be, who I am. I already know who you are. And that's how I like it. I just want to come and just continue where we left off from the last vlog, you know? Okay, so I'm about to go with the hair so I can start coloring. And yeah, I said that already. I need to start repeating myself. 
put my um, mat down. I wanted to show y'all. Look. I finally put it down in front of my drawer. It was like sitting in my car for so long. Hey, my loves. Yeah. I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> oh my God, I'm tearing for no reason. First thing first. Tented moisturizer is really that girl because the way foundation is not seeing me this summer, yeah, the foundation is definitely not seeing me this summer. I love how my makeup looks. It looks like so, like my skin, like so dewy. I'm, I'm here for it. Got my hair in like a little ponytail. It is time for a retwist. All right, I'm about to go back to my suite to clean out the last bit of my stuff. And then I'm going to find somewhere to go after. I don't know. Um, it's kind of nice out here. My hair's not really like all the way done, but I did something. And guys, I recorded a content video. Um, I ain't gonna talk about it. Y'all gonna see it. Cause I made one for Instagram and I definitely recorded one for YouTube this time. So yeah, I have to edit that. But I don't know what I'm doing. I just got in my car. I know I definitely have to go to my suite first. So that's where we're going. Yeah. I need to lock my gate. Yeah, my gate is open. I'll be back. Aww. I feel like I haven't picked up my camera in a couple of days, so yeah. I just went to upload um, my full wax routine. And yeah, I know I had to. Okay, guys, y'all know I really have no Wi Fi. Like, the area in which I live, they don't have towers in this area. Like, this is the first time. I'm like, damn, like. We're in 2023. What you mean you don't got no towers? Like, I've been using my hotspot. And I'm like, let me finally, like, just set up my Wi-Fi. And now I'm trying to set it up. And they don't have towers. Like, it's so annoying. So I've been using my hotspot because the first time I came here, moved in, I called the company and they said they don't have towers, right? But I just thought it was, like, a coincidence like just that one company but i never kept on searching around so now i'm calling like two companies today and they said the same thing like they don't have towers and it's just like oh so there's no wi-fi in this area so but i live around a whole bunch of old people and maybe they don't watch they don't need wi-fi i don't know but it's just like damn i have to keep on going to the coffee shop when i want to upload a video i still could watch like tv and stuff like it's my hotspot, but like uploading videos and stuff, it just runs very, very slow. You know, it'd be like uploading for like three hours. I'm like, I might as well go to a coffee shop. But anyway, I went to Wild. Y'all know that's my coffee bar. I need to find a new coffee bar. And I got me some. This time I didn't get a pre-roll. I always get a pre-roll, but I decided to actually get a 3.5. <laughs> and um yeah, I just want to show y'all like how it comes. It says find your flow. I kind of like that. I'll take a pic. I'm trying to find my flow. Chloe, what are you doing? So I officially moved out of my suite. I have to go back to actually pick up my shelves, but everything else is 
out and I set up my upstairs already. That's what I was doing all day today. So now I can actually start. It looks good. Am I allowed to show this on um, YouTube? It looks good. I actually don't have a grinder, so I'm just gonna use my, oh, it's not that bad to brush. <sighs> I wanna get me a hookah. I don't know, CBD, like, it gets me into like a, cre in like a real creative space. Like, I don't know, like, weed makes me lazy. Weed makes me not wanna do nothing. I don't know, like, that's how weed makes me feel. But like, CBD don't make me feel that way. Maybe, I don't know. I usually, okay, so I think it's different types of CBD. I actually get the sativa, which is more of a creative upper. You're more of a creative level, creative space. You're more doing things. And I feel like they say indica, it's indica, however you say it, is more of a body high. So you're more like chill, relax type vibe. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to make me something quick to eat. I don't know. And then I'm going to watch this Netflix series, Unseen. I had to start it over because I kind of fell asleep on it, but it looks really, really good. I feel like um, it looks really good. It's about this lady. She's a cleaner, but she started killing people because she's looking for her husband. I don't know, but I'm about to. It's six, it's six episodes, so it's really a real short season. Um, it's a real short series. So we're gonna see what it's headed for. I think that's I haven't been keeping up with the series on Netflix. If y'all have, like what y'all been watching? Okay, but me a little spooky split. Make sure y'all tune into my latest YouTube video, by the way. Y'all may see two videos before y'all see this vlog though. Anyway, guys, I'll come back later. I'm just about to. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's something I want to talk to you guys about, but I don't know. I may talk to you guys about it tomorrow. I just want to chill right now. But yeah, we're going to we're gonna have the conversation tomorrow. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> I went to Walmart today and I got some new pickups for locks. And I want to share with you guys. First things first, I got the Pure Castle soap. And I know people use it as a body wash, but I see a lot of lock tissues use this on their clients. And I use this on my body, but and you know how like it makes your body like when you step out, it have that peppermint coolie feeling, that nice tingling feeling. So imagine this on your scalp. I think it's gonna be a mood. Yeah. So I picked this up to wash my hair as my shampoo. I really don't get no conditioner because you, when you have locks, you really don't need conditioner, honestly. So, a great shampoo. I then picked up, this is a new pickup. This is from Made for Locks. And it's a lock aloe spray. This is a black owned company and it's made with aloe vera and witch hazel. It's basically a moisturizing refresher spray. So I guess like, you know, when you're trying to style your hair and stuff like you just spray it on there, like similar to water, I would guess, but just it's with aloe. Um, we're gonna see how this works. It says vegan friendly. Yeah, this is a new pickup. So we're gonna see how this works. So I'm trying a new product to retwist my hair and that's the aloe vera gel. Um, I heard aloe, I see a lot of people do use, like they use different things. I don't have, I never see somebody that have like, everybody use different things to twist their locks. The last product I used to twist my locks, it was cool. It was like a gel, um, like an edge control kind of gel thing. And after a while it started to flake and I had build up and I really didn't like that. So I want to try and see what this aloe vera gel is hitting for, hopefully. Um, it gets the job done and hopefully my twist actually lasts and holds. I don't know. We're just going to give it a shot. Um, I then picked up the Lotta Body 
coconut and shea oils is a foaming mousse so basically after i twist my hair to make it look real flush and everything i'm gonna put the mousse over it and tie it down let it dry that's how you get the neat the neat salon look don't worry i got a video coming for y'all everything i'm giving you a drop on how to you know make your locks look salon i just came out the salon i just came from a lactician i gotcha um i picked up two products from Mali. Mali? I don't know. I don't want to say the name wrong, but it's this company. And this is basically, I, I picked up the Rosemary Mint Scalp and Strengthening Oil. I want to use this around my edges because I do have like a little thinning spots. I always had a thin spot on this edge. But just to keep my edges, you know, full and moisturized. And then... I don't know. I got their edge control as well because Rosemary Men is strengthening edge control. Like, why not? <laughs> I got me a calm little water bottle because I don't have a water bottle. I got me that. And then I got me a soft brush because, you know, I've been using like an edge control brush and it's not big enough. And they say you're supposed to like brush the lint out of your locks and stuff so i got me a soft brush and that's basically everything i got from walmart today i just want to share that little haul with you guys um, i can't wait to do this retwist i think it's gonna be fabulous i don't know how this vlog is going i feel like i come off camera i come off camera I come on camera i come off camera but it is what it is right I'm about to chill right now. I do have a PR package. I should open it with you guys. Since it's here, let's open a PR. Let's unbox a PR package. This is from May Mayless. That's how you pronounce their thing. Because I actually want to do this on TikTok as well. But Ugh. Chloe's itching really, really bad. And it's bothering me. Like she has like two red marks right here on her eyebrows and i don't know what the issue is and it's i'm like a real concerned parent right now i made an appointment to take her to vetco um that's they're they're i think they're alongside with petco because they're merchy because the place i actually take her to they're really really expensive and i'm like i really don't want to play a check like i really don't want to cut a check right now so i'm gonna see what the vetco is hitting for Hopefully they fix my baby because I don't know, like it's just like really really red right, right there. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna do a calm little unboxing. It says, "Oh my boo, it's here." Oh, it says. Hi, childs. Welcome to the house of Bob. With these products, you're now ready to begin your journey to total bad ass energy. We know that you're going to love the results you see. We're definitely not biased on anything. Don't forget to tag us at Minutes Come Minutes so that we can share your journey with other badass women around the world. And for the love of Bob, treat yourself right and save and seize the motherfucking night. <laughs> And sees the mother effing. That's what they said. This is so cute. So you look hot from this angle. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. I got their Get Peachy Booty Scrub. This is actually a exfoliate scrub. Then got from the Ooh, the, this is a body butter. I know how I feel about body butters. I love body butter. Oh, it is so good. Oh, so pretty. Look at a pink body butter. Come through. Oh, this smells very good, y'all. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, 
Oh, this looks nice. This is giving real luxe. Apply to brighten and body some target areas and massage. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, this works. I think these two together is gonna be a duo because on my, I don't like how like my knees are dark and then my elbows are dark. So I'm gonna like use this to, oh this for the booty, I'm gonna see if, it, if I could use the, this to exfoliate my like, my elbows and use this brightening serum to put on there to lighten it. Maybe that'll work, I don't know. Or brighten it up so it can like, my skin tone can kind of even out, I don't know. But I'm excited to use their products. Thank you so much, Milis. It is so. I'm here for it. We love a good PR. We love a great PR. All right, y'all. So I'll just see y'all when I pick my camera up again. So, <laughs> I actually do want to talk to y'all. Let me talk to y'all before I end up this vlog. So, I really been thinking about, I've been was thinking about it, but it wasn't like something that was heavily on my mind, but it crossed my mind a couple times of changing my YouTube name. And it was crazy because... One of my new subbies, she had recommended that I look into changing my YouTube name so it can really help with brand identity and maybe it will help with more brands wanting to collab with me. Because, of course, you guys know Flawless Mocha is not really a real name. So, I wanted to talk to you, like, what do y'all feel? Like, do y'all think I should just keep my name Flawless Mocha? Or do you think I should change my name um if you guys don't know i'm gonna tell you right now my real name is chalice chalice crystal christian that is like my full government <laughs> so i was like i was playing around with it and i'm just like chalice christian you know how some people have names like their first and last name but it rings like it would be something like um let me think lisa lynette or Something like Chelsea Ray, you know, it, it be it be it, it be rhyming, and I don't know, but I feel like Chalice Christian or Crystal Chalice, Chalice Crystal. Like, what do y'all think? I was even thinking about like Crystal Christian. I don't know, I don't know. But before, do y'all think it? I should change my YouTube name. Do you feel like it would help with my brand more? Do you feel like? It will help with brand identity as far as collabing, as far as people actually getting to know who I am as a person. Um, and what are y'all thoughts? Like if y'all was to suggest some names for me, as far as you guys learning me and getting to know me, what would you say? Like what are some, I need, I need your help. And um, that's what I want to talk to you about. I really do want you guys help. I don't want to go ahead and just switch my name. I kind of want to really think about this and act actively pick a name because me picking a name is actually something that will definitely go with my brand long term. This is not like a short term thing. So what are your thoughts? The names that I came up with using my real name is Crystal Christian, Chalice Crystal, Chalice Christian, my real name. Or um, I was even thinking about Crystal Chris. I, I don't know. Chalice Chris. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But yeah. What are your thoughts? I need your help. If y'all come up with something cute, something sassy, something. Or if y'all think I should just go with my regular name, just let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning into this vloggy vlog. I know it was pretty short. I didn't do too much in the vlog. But um. It's not really about doing too much. It's honestly coming and showing up. <laughs> and that's what I did. So if you enjoyed his bloggy vlog, you already know what to do. Thumbs me up. Talk to me in the comments. Like, 
we need to talk in the comments about this name thing situation for real for real and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next bloody vlog bye y'all i met him in philly and the name was brown shook